Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to be going uh, through Photoshop on the new Surface Go. This is the 4 gigabyte model, and we're using the new Surface Pen. We're using also the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro, as well as a new program called KeyPress OSD and KeyPress. Uh, here we'll draw on the screen. You can see if I'm pressing or doing different hotkeys here, you can actually see what I'm pressing in order to get the brush to go up and down to adjust colors uh, to color pick yeah, just basically the regular stuff that you're used to seeing here uh, before the update was going on it was actually very fast I tested clip studio and I was surprised that clip studio was not as uh, fast as I expected it to be it was actually quite a bit slower than Photoshop which is definitely something new. Okay, so now I have a couple settings here and you have to watch my Photoshop setup video, which should be out here shortly. Subscribe to be notified when that comes out. But here I'm using uh, the blend tools and I have Photoshop set up nicely so that I can uh, go through here and quickly switch between uh, a lot of different panels that I use on a regular basis. All right, so here we are, and we're in, let's see, where did that go? We're in one layer right now. So again, uh, this is a couple different layers. Uh, the resolution of the screen is set at the default seven by five inches, I believe. As I don't think it's 300 DPI, but let's check. 300 DPI or pixels per inch PPI. All right, so as you can see here, uh, it's actually fairly decent uh, better than I was expecting it to be on this device. I would I would consider this definitely usable for artists. It, it may not be the top contender, but for $400, uh, that's a pretty great deal. All right, so let's do a couple more tests here. Let's bring the size down. Let's scale in and let's check for jitter. All right, let's make this darker. Okay, I think we're a little too far pulled in. I'm gonna switch to a different brush. Now, most of the time, if you're trying to get a really smooth line without any jitter, if you zoom in, the line is almost every single time better. I don't really want to do that. So you can see it's very similar to the Surface Book to the new Surface Pro. I, I think it's all the same screen. Uh, obviously, Photoshop now has smoothing options. So we'll choose a little bit of smoothing here. And you can see those lines are, are now absolutely beautiful. So uh, from, from my test so far, it does feel like there needs to be a little bit more work done on the firmware for the pen, because uh, it's really not quite as as good as what I'm seeing on some of the other devices. It doesn't mean it's bad, it's very good, but it's not quite up to par with what I'm seeing on my Surface Book 2 and the new Surface Pro. All right, uh, someone was asking about having my hand resting on, resting on the screen and 
how that affects jitter and placement of the pen tip. I'm not seeing a difference between those two situations. I have my hand resting on the back of the screen. I'm not seeing the pen tip adjust one way or the other based on that. All right, you guys, I know that there's gonna be a lot of other questions. I'll be doing reviews on other uh, art programs. Uh, Clip Studio is coming. Uh, if you guys have a recommendation for a, a program that you wanna see, please put it in the comments. Uh, all right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out Tablet Pro and KeyPress. Uh, both great pieces of software to go along with your Surface Go. Alright, thanks. Until next time, stay creative.